Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Cytrix here, and welcome to Kirby and the Forgotten Land for the Nintendo Switch that was released by HAL Laboratory. Thank you, HAL. I'm such a big Kirby fan. I only regret I was not able to get this game as soon as possible. I was having, I was faring with some financial issues, but not to worry, everything's fine now. And so now I can finally start this Let's Play on my channel here. So... Without further ado, I already started the game on my main series. I haven't reached very far yet. I just wanted to get a taste of what was in store for me. It is so good. I love it. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's see. We're just going to start a brand new file here. File number two. As I said, again, I have not gone far, so don't sue me. Okay, so yeah. Would you like to do online game? Uh, yeah. Why not? Yep, online functionality is used. When we're gonna again, we're gonna go ahead in wild mode. We get a lot more star coins. And while we are beginning this adventure here, guys, do not be afraid to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel for more episodes of this fabulous Let's Play and anything else in the future. Ah, there's Kirby. I don't know, just seeing Kirby just enjoying himself is just so wholesome. Uh, oh, and here is a normal day in Dreamland where an unknown enemy just comes out of nowhere and attacks Kirby. But as you guys know, we already saw this opening here from if you already saw from my my demo I did for the game. Now the Waddle is being captured. Bandana tries to fight it, but nope. And Kirby gets hit with a tree. And the dimensional rift messed him up. Alright, so we can pretty much just skip that part there because again we've all seen the demo. Oh, the crab got away. Oh well, I really wanted to see if I could suck up the crab, but no, I guess I was wrong. So into the forest we go. Wasting no time on this. Tutorial episodes. Ooh. Wait, hold it. Control settings. Let's see, turn off auto swallow. Yep. I like to be in control of what I absorb and what I don't absorb. So, if we, wait, I think we're missing something. I think we passed the rock. Uh, did we pass the rock? Did we? Uh, yeah, there it is. There we go. Okay. And here is an a woofy right up, uh, right up there. And swallowed, but got nothing. So they decided not to bring Beast Kirby after all. I mean, you know, Animal Kirby from Squeak Squad, but oh well, nothing we can do about that. That's how. I mean, it would be a little too easy if we had a lot of copy abilities. So in the this game, there is a total of 12 copy abilities, I believe. And we won't be able to use them for some time until we progress further. Only just a handful are available to us. And we got Sword Kirby. But we're gonna go backtrack here. One moment. I'll see you guys back at the forest. Okay, we're back. And just backtracking here. Here is a blue coin right there. As I learned from other, from online, that if you backtrack with Sword, you will see the blue coin right there. So I wish I had known that before I played the demo, but oh well. Okay, we're back in our adventure here. Let's see, I say a Cappy. Baranto Birds. Nothing's changed since the demo. It was, which was, I was debating whether to start off with the first episodes or just to continue where we left off with the demo. It's a shame the demo doesn't have any save progress, but granted, it, do, it you mean you would still be missing some worlds to do, so 
Yeah, I guess that's why. I don't know. Why didn't it at least put the first stage of the world completely instead of only giving us just a couple, but... Oh, well. It would just be like a save, like, progress or something. I don't know. Oh. Here we go. Bomb Kirby. Oh. Back off, Cappy. And boom. You're dead. Kaboom and Poppy Bros. Juniors are dead as well. In this Baranto bird here. He's another one on my hit list. I don't know. Some characters I don't I feel bad about hurting. Some characters I don't. Like this guy. He's not at all. What you, what you expect, but oh well. And here we are with another adorable cutscene with our little pink puff ball. And a woofies. But these guys just look so cute. Why do you have to be so evil? Again, I don't really don't know if I should just skip the scene, but uh, nah, just for just for decency, I, I won't skip it. There we are. Okay, everybody. So now we have acquired mouth car mouth mode, which is kind of gross if you if you if you don't notice Kirby putting his mouth around a rusty old car. And you don't know what kind of diseases you'll get from that, but oh well. I guess, again, if you may have watched the demo, I suggested that this ability would probably be replacing the wheel ability Kirby usually would just use to just drive and just speed his way through everything, but yeah, it looks like that'll be the case for this. And here we are arrived at our first checkpoint. Just clear the way here with all these enemies and rocks and crap. And into the bridge. Yeah, the theme song! I love it. And I'm not gonna butcher the song by reading the lyrics like most YouTubers do, I'm not gonna do that. I'm doing the song justice, and I'm just gonna sit quiet and listen to it. Love that song. And it's hard to believe they brought back that same... That same noise that Waddle Dee made. I think they originally used that in Kirby Battle Royale. I don't know. I think... I, I don't know. I think it may be before that, but I, I, I'm familiar with that, that sound effect. So, here we are on our way now to Waddle Dee Town. Or what's left of it. Poor Waddle Dee. I just kind of feel so bad for them right now. 
and these eyes are just sparkling with innocence. And once again, trapped in a cage. Don't worry, you're... Don't worry, you little puff of adorableness, we'll save you. Oh, ah, ah, nuts. Missed. Don't worry. And everything's safe now. Phew, you saved me. Thank you. But what about the other guys? The Waddle D. They were all captured and taken away. We fought those beasts as hard as we could, but they kept coming back for more. Now I'm the only one left. I have to go and save them. I have to. Oh, well, he has his priority state. Obligation, I guess. What? You'll help me save everyone? That's great! Yep, that's Kirby for you. He can't just can't leave everything like this. We wouldn't have a game otherwise. So, your name is Kirby? I'm Elphalyn. Nice to meet you. This is Elphalyn. I know a lot of people suggest that he's gonna be a, 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 the antagonist in the end. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep my unopen mind about this. I'm just keeping it at a 50-50. I'm keeping him at arm's length, but... He's winning me slowly over with his cuteness. Hey, Kirby! Oh, Bandana D, it's you! Now we can play two-player mode. Boy, I'm glad to see you. I got pulled through that vortex over at Planet Popstar 2. If you want a second player to join you, just let me know. I'll always be ready. Eh, it's a shame I don't have anyone else to play this game with right now, but... We'll just have to manage without bandanity. See ya! We're gonna save more of your kidnapped brethren. Natural Plains. And here we have another one of the demo worlds. Downtown Grassland. But we already pretty much know how to clear this by now. If you get- again, we played the demo. We all played the demo, so... For those of us who couldn't wait to get their hands on the game. Alright, so bomb is just not gonna be really wor useful here. So yeah, just fi yeah, find the tulips, as usual. Cutter will do nicely here. Okay. Chop chop. I'm sorry to do this to you, but there is no sleep in here. Ooh. And down you, d you go. Slash attacks. Man cutter is useful here. And we have another cake. Tulip. Now we have... Vending mouth mode! Eat my soda cans of justice! Oh look, he just looks so adorable with the, with the vending machine. And with the hat, it was just so adorable, oh! Dang, Kirby, why you have to be so cute? How can anyone bring themselves to try and hurt Kirby? Oh well. Now, fire. Now, spit. 
soda. Useful. So here we go, the gotcha capsule. And here we go first. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, made it. And here, another blue coin. Asada and Game Explain. They pretty much just get, like giving a little tidbits of information like that. We're going up again. Ooh. Uh oh. And down you go. You, ah! How dare you attack me! You're just not cute anymore in my eyes. Thank goodness we have health there. And now to Warp Star. Made it. Uh oh. Uh oh, I think I messed up with the bomb. Oh well. Nothing to do about that. Ah! Nuts. Nah! Dang you, Shotsos. I really should have went for bomb. Okay. Cone mouth mode. Feel the impact. Sorry, Cutter. Sorry, Kurt, Sir Kibble. But I really just need to cause some damage here. A Woofies? Nothing personal. I know, I just can't stand to hurt these guys. The Woofies especially, they're just too cute. What? I don't feel bad about hurting him, though. That's another tulip collected. Ah, oh, missed. Missed my target. Nice. And spitting this out. We'll be needing Cone Mouth for a while. And so up we go. And here we found our first hidden Waddle Dee. Don't worry, we'll save you. Eat it! Ugh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I pressed my luck there. And this is over. Sword Kirby again. See ya. And up we go. Near the end, folks. You're done. Now. So I'm noticing when you aren't low on life, your health bar will just stay hidden. Like, that's a neat fe feature if you just want to, uh, you know. Oh, made a mistake. There we go, Dome Mouth. I know I don't have to announce the names, like, so dramatically, but I don't know. You just got to. Sometimes. Alright, so that's another Wild he saved. Having pre-game pre knowledge really does help.
if you're like really just aiming to 100% the game. I mean, I won't be aiming to 100% the game, but at least I'll try my hardest to at least secure a Waddle Dee in my first run of each stage. But if not, I'll just have to go back and backtrack on my own time. So let's see here. Down he goes. And again with Cone Mouth. Alright, you snapping turtle thing. Time for you to go bye bye. And that was the last of the hidden Waddle Dees. So now, to complete the last objective. Oof. There we go. I better take this bull thing out. And he went down fairly easy. Okay, that's all the tulips. And here we go. Uh-oh. A bigger one. Oh, I'm, I'm not surprised. Ah, nuts. I wasn't patient. Corn. That really makes me hungry for corn on the cob. I don't know, playing a Kirby game really will, will just make you hungry. And up we go. You cannot see me. You can't see me. John Cena. You can't see me. And down he goes. Alright, all objectives are been cleared. Let's see that is about nine Waddle Dees rescued. There's Kirby, Blade Knight, and Maximato. Alright, let's get out of here everyone. Through the tunnel. Nine Waddle Dees rescued. Bye, everyone! Your figure collection is now available. You use this to view all of the figures you've collected. Let's see if you can collect them a full set. Nice. Alright, so I think we're gonna go ahead and do this next part here. And then we'll call it an episode. So let's go. Through the tunnel, everyone! Oh, these stages just look so beautiful. I just... Oh, I can't get enough! Alright. So... See a sword. <laughs> I just like to see him malfunction without his, ta with ha with his hat. Fire! Let's burn everything to the ground! Alright, and you need to burn up. Okay, I see a lantern. Light four lantern switches, okay. Got the star coins, that's good. So you definitely just gotta light everything up. <sighs> oh, burn, bitch. Oof. Okay, this should be good enough. Oh, wait. Almost missed the stage. Ah. 
Here we go. Ah, there you are, Waddle Dee. See ya. Uh. Bouncy. Die. Oh, these daisies. I'm just really liking the detail that, that Hal just put into this. I really hope that they'll continue making more 3D Kirby games like this. Because it looks amazing. I'm just blown away. I heard that this this game only is going to have five worlds. If that's... I'm sorry if that may be a spoiler to you guys. But yeah, but... I don't think it's going to be that long of a game. But still, it, w it will be... But with the missions and objective, it's just going to make it feel that much longer. And I'm really appreciative of how to at least try to put some more consideration into how much depth somebody can really just get into this game. If you're a completionist and just want to go after all the collectibles, all the... All, all aim for 100%, that's all you. And I will try my hand and try to 100% this game on my own time, but on screen I'll just complete as many stages as possible. Alright, so there we go. Uh oh. Ah! Barely avoided that. A fire enemy being burned by its own fire. Um, interesting. Hmm. Oh well. I guess they haven't thought about the whole uh, elemental advantage attribute for the game. Okay, and this should be the last of the lantern. Bingo. Up here, follow the star coins. Alright. There we go. See ya, Waddledee. Hmm. All right. Uh, oh, the cannon. They say if you crouch in the cannon, it'll help speed up the fuse. So, if you guys just don't want to sit around waiting for the cannon, like, Ugh, how long this is gonna take? Then it'll work. Out of my way. I'm gonna roll and I'm not gonna let you stop me. Oof. Alright. This thing loved to make kaboom. I like to make more kabooms, so kill it as fast as you can. Stare mouth. I look like a giant T Rex. Like, if you look at it carefully, you look at Kirby as like a dinosaur. Uh. Squashed. I really feel bad for the Owoofies. They're really just taking over the Waddle's painful role as the common enemies to be killed. And to be honest, I would rather have one of them as a pet. And up I go. Another gacha figure. But these stairs really are well designed. I really like how they look. It's just... I don't know, it's just like... This could be the new Mario Odyssey. I wouldn't be surprised if this game was nominated for Game of the... Almost Game for the Year. Like, Family Game of the Year, it would be. I don't know. I'm just deciding whether it could be. But it could be. It has the potential to be. I'll, I'll just save my my reservations until after everything. So remove that poster. So yeah, if you just see a poster, make sure to just remove it. Because I hear a waddle Okay. Burn the can. Okay. Note that if you put the stairs anywhere up above the fuse, That'll cause it to go out. So you always gotta make sure the path is clear for the fuse, too. 
And another hidden Waddle Dee has been rescued. Oh, God. I know I'm sounding annoying right now, but these stages are just sounding just so much fun to play. I don't think I will need fire for the rest of the way. So, here's Blade Knight. How you doing? Thanks for the sword. I'm sorry to do this to you, Wolfie. But you need to stop sleeping on the job. Oh, I think I left the I missed the spot. I see the I see the waterlies. I'm gonna go get them in just a moment. Oh. Another gotcha figure. And another stage cleared. 100 percent We got a warp star. Sir Kibble. And Cutter Kirby. Swiss sliced sliced that sharp edged boomerang. Use it to grab faraway items. Hold the B button down to freeze it in midair and charge it up. That'll make it an extra powerful. Swish! What I noticed are the three star figures are the ones with text flavors, so anything with a one star or two, you won't be seeing any descriptions or anything else like that. Okay, so we have our next few stages to deal with. But all ten Waddledees have been saved. See you guys later! Oh. Waddleys, you saved the, the saved. Let me see. I'm sorry. Um, the Waddleys you've saved for an, found a new mysterious area, Treasure Road. There can be a rare items in he, in there. Hop in and explore. All right then. So as I said, that will be it for this episode. So, if you guys did enjoy my first playthrough of Kirby and the Forgotten Land, don't forget to hit a like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to stay up to date with my new future Kirby content and other things gaming. So, I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day everybody.